Yo, what's up, guys? The Goblin. And today, what I have is a dual commentary with one of my online buddies, a uh, YouTube buddy, Quadam FT or Caleb. Uh, I'll leave his channel link in the description. You guys should all go subscribe to him. He's an awesome friend. And we're going to be dual com doing a dual commentary today, talking about online friendships and stuff like that. So, Caleb, why don't you introduce yourself to uh, my channel? What's going on, guys? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here. <laughs> What a brutal intro. <laughs> Classic. Yo, what's up, guys? It's the Goblin. But all right, so today's topic is we're going to be talking about online friends and stuff like that. So the first question I have for you, Caleb, is have you ever met like an online friend, someone – well, we'll an online friend is basically someone that you know through either Xbox, mm -hmm. Twitter, Skype, uh, yeah. YouTube, it, Tumblr. It anything. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure there's – Club Penguin. <laughs> Club Penguin. I, I'm, stuff like that. I'm sure there's girls out there that know each other on Tumblr but don't actually have met each other. And that's how, how Luke and I met. We met over Tumblr. And <laughs> <laughs> no, we actually met on Twitter. And can we tell that story how we met? All right. Well, is the story of how we met is basically <laughs> Caleb was one of my subscribers. I had about maybe 40,000 subscribers at the time. Yeah. And I tweeted out <laughs> to get some of my subscribers to help me with my uh, social studies homework. Yeah. <laughs> Caleb replied, so we got on Skype, and these guys were helping me with my social studies project, which actually got a pretty good mark on. I think I got a 80 or 90 percent on that. I'll take half. And, uh, that was grade 11 social studies, uh, and uh, yeah, that's basically how we became friends. Yeah, so I did his homework for him, and you know, he paid me. No, no, he, he did. <laughs> I did it for free. But yeah, so that's the question: is me an online friends? I have met one of my online friends in real life, which was uh, Colby or Impulse. Some of you guys may know him, some of you guys probably don't. But um, that's that was pretty cool, and it it was definitely wasn't as weird as I expected. Like you expect, like ooh, this could be like a freaky old man or something like that. But he. <laughs> It's like the same person that he is on the computer, which is the same with me. Like I'm pretty much the exact same person on the computer as I am in real life. I'm not like uh, I'm not like freaking sit there in my room, like won't talk to anyone or stuff <laughs> like on the Internet. And I'm a freaking monster or stuff like that. But yeah. <laughs> have you ever met anyone from online in real life? Well, actually, I, I've been recognized in real life. You know, not OK. I'm going to tell the story, but I was in Chipotle and I was in there for PAX. I'm sure maybe some of you guys probably know what PAX is. It's a huge gaming event. Thousands on thousands of people go there. It's in Seattle. It goes twice a year in Seattle and one in Boston. The one I was at was in Seattle and I was at Chipotle, of course, the best restaurant. I mean, nothing's better. Come on, Luke, you like Chipotle? Uh, yeah, it's OK. I like it. All right, so there was someone who came in there and recognized me, and it was a girl, and they were like, are you Quad FT? And they said, and I said, well, of course, I responded and said, yeah, and that was pretty cool we met. So I have I haven't really, you know, met any friends besides other YouTubers besides at, like, gaming events, nothing where, like, you and I have scheduled something because we live, like, eight hours away, so, or, like, actually, like, 11 hours away, but, you know, maybe we'll meet one day, we'll make sure to do a vlog then for sure. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. So my question for the people in the comments and for you as well as Caleb is what is your opinion on online friends? Do you believe that you can have a real friendship with someone not knowing them in real life just through Xbox and Twitter and stuff like that? Because my opinion, you definitely can have a real friendship with someone mm -hmm. and uh, get to know someone on like a complete level. Like when me and Colby met, I already knew everything about the freaking kid. <laughs> I knew everything about the kid. It was <laughs> yeah. I didn't report on him and he was like the same person, right? Yeah. But the thing is, I think that there's a diff there's sort of a different level of being face to face as the internet. And that's sort of a problem with uh, society and I guess kids these days is lots of them that they just talk on the texting. Like if you're if you're talking to a girl you're like, you're just gonna be texting her and stuff like that. You barely even hang out with them. Like you might mm -hmm. hang out every two weeks or something like that. And then you think like you really like the person when in reality you're liking their text messages or something like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's true. What I'm trying to say here. Yeah, I, I'm definitely getting you. Like, okay, I, I mean, you. I feel like you and I, if we were in real life, we'd be the same. Oh, like, for sure, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I we'd still, of course, just mess around and have fun, but... I feel like, you know, we can still do that online, but there's certain people like if you know the person in real life, let's say, I don't know, uh, I don't know, let's take one of your best friends that you know in real life. I don't really know any names of them, maybe your cousin because I know him. Maybe you and him are different over texting, but different in real life. Like, I don't know why, but when I talk to someone online that I know in real life before we started talking online, they're just a little bit different online. I, I don't know if that's because I knew them in real life already or whatever that was. Yeah, I, I, that's that's another thing is like if you know a girl, like say you go to school with a girl in high school or something like that, then 
her online could be fucking annoying. Like she could have the most True. annoying Facebook, the most <laughs> annoying Twitter. But then in real life, she's actually cool. And you just want to tell her like, yo, you know, get off the freaking Facebook. Be yeah. yourself. Right. But it's true. So there is a difference in like how you can uh, perceive yourself or give out your, uh, your sort of image to other people mm-hmm. in the online world and real life. Because uh, real real life you can't like you can you're just gonna be yourself and stuff like that or you could be super shy but in online you're gonna you're gonna perceive the image that you want to perceive you're not gonna show weaknesses yeah, that you don't want to show and stuff like that which is pretty cool but mm-hmm. I think that um I mean there's tons of people that I've met over the years of doing YouTube and this is one of the coolest things about having I guess like a decent sized YouTube channel is that I get to interact with a lot of my subscribers and a lot of my subscribers I, when I see their comments I will know their comments by you know like the name of the subscriber or I will see their tweets or I'll be playing with them on Xbox and stuff like that and that's that's something I talk about a lot of my channel and probably the coolest thing for me is because um Well, I went to like a lot of different schools before I went to high school. So when I went to high school, I knew a ton of people there. I had a lot of friends there. But being able to communicate with uh, like over 100,000 people is just on an insane level. And you can learn so many different things from people and just different ways of how people are living their life. And it really shows you, to me at least, that – There's so many different things you can do in life. You don't have to do what your parents want you to do or you don't have to do the same thing as all the other kids is that there's so many different ways and there's so many other ways to be successful. There's people that are successful through live streaming. I mean, they can make Mm -hmm. a living through live streaming. There's people that are successful through YouTube and there's people that go to school, work and do YouTube and stuff like that. It's just really insane on all the different levels that people are doing this thing and that we still all together – to come together over like a game, Call of Duty or YouTube or Twitter. And it's, it's just really cool to me. That yeah, thing. I mean, we are a community. We may not be the best community with arguing and all this drama, you know, drama alert constantly going on. But, you know, I guess we're all sort of one community together. We all enjoy Call of Duty. We all like talking over our gameplay and just, I don't know, we like having we like having a good time while playing video games. I mean, that's the community that we're in right now. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. I agree with that. Another yep. thing that you could you could say about like online people is some of the like the like uh, most scaredy cat people in real life will act like they're super hard haters online. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Like uh, it, it always makes me laugh when some people like make fun of me in the comments. Like I usually don't like I'm not someone that there's 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 a few different kinds of YouTubers that will take the hate. One of them is sort of uh, I guess it would be like what Jay Nasty would do. Just attack them back. Go at them hard. <laughs> yeah. Beat them up, right? It's the true. other one would be like, I don't know. It seems like something Girl Gone Gamer would do. Just cry about it and be like, oh, sad. <laughs> Girl Gone Gamer, but come it's on. Sort of like what I do is if someone says like, oh, why is this Muppet wearing a hoodie? I'll just, like, <laughs> I, just, I, I can't stop but laugh at that because yeah. it, it's pretty funny. Like, why does it matter to you? That I'm wearing a hoodie. Like, it just, yeah, it, it, it makes no sense to me. I don't know. It's yeah, like, it's true. I mean, you're you're commenting on an online video of some guy who's good at Call of Duty and <laughs> likes to talk. Or, like, just just reevaluate your situation, man. Just just come on. But uh, the best part, what's the what's in your opinion the best part of being a YouTuber? To me, it's definitely reading through comments and seeing the oh, likes yeah. and support. It, it's got to be the interaction when someone online in a random game of domination on Call of Duty Ghosts recognizes you and freaks out that you're in the lobby. <laughs> That's such a good feeling, dude. Honestly, I mean, sometimes it can get a little bit weird when they, when they Follow hurt your ears. Down, shoot your gun. Oh yeah, if you like join session, man. I'm not about that life, dude. Don't do that. But it's a lot of fun when you talk to fans. I, I gotta say the interaction. Yeah. Uh, a quick question before we wrap this up is: If YouTube did not show likes or favorites or comments and just showed the views. What do you think? I think uh, it would still be cool, but it would just not be the same at all. Like it'd, mm-hmm. it'd be, be a completely more. like different whole way of thinking like it because you can't tell like you can tell people are viewing your video, but you don't know what they're saying. You don't really know what you're doing wrong. You don't know what they want and what they really enjoyed because the comments are honestly something that keeps me doing YouTube. Yeah, I agree with that. So that's about it for this dual com. If you guys watch till the end, leave a comment down below saying I love waffles <laughs> and uh, leave a like on this video. Only blue and- waffles, though. Uh, okay, you just ruined it. We gotta restart. So. But leave a comment saying I love waffles <laughs> or pancakes or whatever. And then uh, if you guys actually did watch to the end of this video because it's like a ten minute video, leave a like on this video. And uh, if you guys want to go check out Caleb's channel down below, I definitely recommend just click on that link, go and subscribe to him. It'll be like first line in the description. And that's about it. Any last thoughts, Caleb? Uh, thanks for checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, subscribe for a cookie. And don't lucky. I'm out. Peace.